I'm going on a girl's trip and making personalized tote bags for all my girlfriends. I'll show you how to make these step by step. Come with me. Hi, I'm Joe with Cricut and today we're going to make a personalized tote bag. I'm super excited to be going on a girl's trip with some of my best friends and so I want to go a little bit over the top and make them each an individualized goodie bag. Let's get started. The things that you'll need today are scissors, a weeding tool, a mat. I'm using the standard grip Cricut mat, my Cricut Explorer 3, some infusible ink with the butcher paper that's included, a tote blank, and then I also have a lint roller and a trimmer as well. I'm super excited to be using the Cricut Easy Press 3 as well to press the infusible ink into the design. All right, let's make it. I'm gonna start out in design space. So let's move over to the computer. And here I'm going to add some text here. So I love a simple but beautiful font. So my name is Jill. I'll start with mine because we love ourselves here. And I'm gonna update the size so that it is seven inches tall. All right, so I've already measured this against my tote bag and I know that that's the size that I wanna start with. Since this is a scripty font, I want to make sure that we're not cutting into from the I to the L. So I'm gonna hit the weld tool here. What that's gonna do is it's going to press it all flat and so that when it cuts out my infusible ink, it's nice and smooth. Now that that looks good, I'm gonna hit make it on design space and cut it out on the mat. All right, super simple and easy. Now I'm gonna move over to the mat and get my infusible ink ready to cut. Take the plastic top off of my mat. We'll move that over to the side. And then I'm gonna put my invisible ink onto the mat. It's mostly straight on here. So now that I have this ready to go, I wanna make sure that I hit mirror on design space. I don't want my name to be backwards. Have a Karen Smith Mean Girls moment. It's a bad idea. Okay, I'll hit continue here and it's gonna to connect to my machine. All right, for my material, I am going to select infusible ink. So we'll come into all materials. I'm gonna type in infusible ink transfer sheet. Default pressure, nothing else is required. So I'll load it into the machine here. Hit the load button and then the machine will take care of the rest. All right, once it's measured out the material, make sure I have enough. I'll just hit the go button here and it'll cut out my design. All right, now that that's done cutting, I'm going to unload from the machine. And then a super cool trick I learned is I flip over the mat and then I'm gonna peel the mat away from the, from the material. So that helps prevent it from curling too much. So now I have a pretty big piece of infusible ink. So I'm just gonna trim it down so it's a little bit easier to work with. Okay, now I have my name cut out here. And then I'm gonna pull out my weeding tool and then just separate anything that I don't want transferred onto the design. So I'll start with this J here, poke it out. Feasible ink is super nice because it comes off really clean. And then starting in the corner, pulling that away as well. I feel like I could be on one of those ASMR videos just peeling infusible ink all day. Awesome. Okay, now I have my scraps here. I'll discard those to the side in the graveyard. All right, so now I have my name. If you flip it around, you see what it'll look like. It's super cute. And I liked the idea of putting it in the bottom corner of my design. So I'm just going to make sure I like where it goes. And then beforehand, I'll make sure to um, prep my surface. I have a cat. 
Lint rollers are my best friend. We use these all the time at my house. So I'm gonna just lint roll the base to make sure that nothing gets on it. Because anything that is on your material or on your base will transfer into your design and then I will see Fitz's hair for the rest of my girls trip. Don't want to be reminded of that. I've used the Cricut Heat app to pre-select the settings for my Cricut Easy Press 3. So it's told me for an infusible ink with the tote bag base, I need 385 degrees Fahrenheit for 40 seconds. So I already sent those settings over to the Easy Press 3 and it has heated up my Easy Press 3. All right, what I love about the Cricut Heat app is it's telling me basically the sandwich that I need to build to have a perfect press. On the bottom, I have my Cricut Easy Press mat. Up next, I have my tote. And to make sure that I'm not gonna bleed through, I'm gonna put a piece of plain white cardstock in between where I'm pressing and the other side of the blank. Blanks are what we refer to when we're using a blank material. Then up next, I'll put on my infusible ink right where I want it to go. Press that down. What's nice, since this is a bigger design, I'm not going to use any heat transfer tape, but if you do have a smaller design you want to make sure it stays in place, you can always secure that with transfer tape. And then finally, I'm going to use the butcher paper that came with my infusible ink to cover the design. Okay, double check that it all looks good. I have my press sandwich ready to go and I'm going to press it on. So with infusible ink, you're going to just press it down and then hit the go button and it says light pressure and do not move it. I'll just hold it for the 40 seconds. I love that it measures it out for me and I don't have to deal with any timers. Awesome, once it beeps and lets me know it's done, I'm going to replace the heat press. I'm done pressing for the day, so I'm gonna turn it off and make sure it's safe. But what's cool about that is if you forget, if you're the person who leaves your house and forgets that you doesn't remember if you unplugged your hair dryer or your curling iron, this will turn off for you. No worries about that at all. Now that my design has cooled a little bit, I'll take off the butcher paper and reveal my design. Super excited to see this. I love the design, turned out super cute. I'll take out the cardstock that's on the inside as well. Awesome. I have my super cute, simple, personalized tote bag that I made with my Cricut products. It was so easy to make. I would encourage anyone to try it. I struggle with crafting from time to time, and so Cricut made it easy step by step, and if I can do it, you can as well. Try to make it along with me. Thanks.